Hi Pisces, this is your June mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this mid-month reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at love and it could be new love, love from the past, existing love, whatever comes up. Then the second spread is going to be some good news for you Pisces for the second half of June and uh, in the third spread we'll be looking at an advice for you Pisces for the remainder of this month. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is on love, Pisces. We have um, Temperance, clarified by the Page of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups. We also have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. And we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, with a Sagittarius, maybe a fellow water sign. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, not a Pisces, or absolutely any zodiac sign. So for some of you, it's a new person. For others of you, this is somebody whom you're already with. <laughs> I don't think, even though we have Temperance, the first card that came out, it could be a card of healing, but it doesn't really strike me as somebody from the past. It doesn't. Let me know in the comments down below if it's somebody from your past. But I think Temperance is either a Sagittarius you're dealing with or Temperance is a card of patience in this particular case. Okay. Um, we have a couple of pages on the table, right? The Page of Swords all the way to your left and the Page of Cups all the way to your right. Um, pages could be children. Maybe you're a single parent. Maybe you work with children uh, or something like that. And uh, everything revolves around some kind of an event, all right? Some kind of an event. A little closer to the candle, we have the Three of Cups, clarifying the Ace of Cups. The Three of Cups is some kind of an event that is coming up. It could be somebody's birthday, maybe a child's birthday. It could be a child's graduation, but I think all of them already graduated. <laughs> Um, it could be absolutely any type of an event. It could be adults only event, right? The Three of Cups could be uh, just a get together. It could be abs absolutely any type of an event, okay? And for some of you, um, if this is a new person, if it's not an uh, existing situation, they're waiting for that event. Maybe they're waiting to ask you out or they're waiting to make a move during that event if both of you are going to be attending separately. All right, and perhaps temperance, since it is a card of patience, maybe they're patiently waiting for that event. All right, um, yeah. <laughs> the Page of Swords doesn't have to be only a child. The Page of Swords could be a card of somebody who is keeping tabs on you, somebody who is watching you. It is the stalker card. It is a card of somebody who is watching you, either from the distance or watching you on social media. All right. It could also be a card of a message coming your way, that invitation. The Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck could also be an invitation. Or somebody asking you out, or somebody approaching you at that event. And uh, the Three of Cups, if this is somebody who is already in your life, if you've been dating this person for a while, uh, they could uh, tell you they love you for the first th time at that event, or they may offer you to take it to the next level. Maybe this is something they're organizing, right? Maybe it's they're throwing some kind of an event or they just want to take you to some kind of a concert to your favorite band or they want to take you to a favorite restaurant and uh, pop the question. They could be. They could be doing that, right? Um, towards the middle, we have the Seven Pentacles clarified by the Queen of Cups. I assume you're the Queen of Cups here. Uh, Pisces, right? Then the Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting. So perhaps you've been waiting for this yourself or maybe that's what this person is waiting for. They're waiting for this event yeah, so they could make a move, so they could do this, so they could do that. You are on their on their mind because the Seven of Pentacles could be a card of doing something, preparing something, and then waiting for the results. <laughs> All right. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. You know what? Those three cards kind of remind me. They kind of mirror the main spread on the left. They kind of mirror that, right? Because in the left spread, we have one ace. In the, in, the, in the main spread, we have that ace of cups, right? And on the right, in the potential outcome, we have the ace of pentacles. And uh, the ace of cups could also be very similar as the knight of cups in the middle of the potential outcome. Because both of them, the ace and the knight of cups, are very loving cards, right? The ace of cups is the true, genuine, authentic love ace. And uh, the knight of cups is all about romance. It's all about... Uh, 
Prince Charming coming away, Knight in the Shining Armor, it's the most caring knight out of all four knights. And the Ace of Pentacles sometimes comes through as a card of a marriage proposal. Alright, if it's not marriage proposal in the very near future, then still they will want to uh, get serious with you with that Ace of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups right next to the deck, the Nine of Cups could also be interpreted as a card of a party or some kind of an event, just like the Three of Cups. Or the Nine of Cups is simply a card of a personal satisfaction and fulfillment. So yeah, everything revolves around some kind of an event, Pisces, and uh, you guys can take it from there. <laughs> Alright, really happy for you, congratulations. Here's some good news for you, Pisces, for the second half of June. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Moon on the bottom of the deck. Um, this has to do with work, okay? The Emperor uh, is a boss figure, an existing one, or uh, somebody becoming a boss. And by somebody, I mean it could be you. <laughs> it could be your your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your spouse becoming a, the, uh, the boss figure, or maybe somebody else is, but it's still good news for you because the old boss is a, is not a good boss, <laughs> right? Uh, the Eight of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of work, business, and finances. The Wheel of Fortune, the first card that came out, is the start of a cycle, all right? So again, maybe you're promoted or maybe you're hired or a loved one becomes a boss at work or, or a new boss is hired or something like that. The moon on the bottom of the deck, it could be a card of a secret, right? Or something that happens um, behind closed doors, behind the scenes that you're not aware of, right? It could be good news, it could be like a surprise. Uh, but uh, the moon is also your major arcana card, one of them, right? So you're still somehow a part of it, <laughs> obviously. All right, so that's good news. Here's an advice uh, for you Pisces for the remainder of this month. We have the Devil, the Nine of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and we have Justice. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Libra or any Zodiac sign. You know what? There's only one thing I can think of. This spread could be interpreted, I guess, multiple ways, but I'll just share you share with you the word that I immediately heard when I saw this spread. The word is boundaries boundaries okay this is most likely with somebody who is already in your life it could be with anybody somebody you work with friends family member neighbor doesn't matter boundaries is what i keep hearing right uh, the nine of ones the second card that came out that's what kind of gives it away right it is a card of somebody who puts up a wall between themselves and uh, a person or people they're dealing with so to me this is a boundary card in this particular case because you're dealing with somebody who is very toxic the devil right somebody who is very toxic somebody who is I don't know, maybe bad influence or somebody who doesn't know boundary, somebody who comes into your private space, literally or not so literally, you know, somebody who doesn't respect boundaries. Perhaps it's time for, the, for you to establish boundaries, all right? And uh, the Six of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of an equal give and take. Equal give and take. You get what you, you receive what you get, uh, what you give, I guess. And again, it kind of strikes me as uh, boundaries between you and somebody else and uh, establishing some sort of rules. Justice on the bottom of the deck uh, is kind of similar to the Six of Pentacles. Because you see how uh, the person standing up, standing in the middle in the Six of Pentacles is holding up scales. Scales is balance, right? And uh, the person in the Justice card, in one of their hands, they're also holding up scales. Scales are balance. <laughs> balance, equal give and take, boundaries. All right, I hope this makes sense, Pisces. But uh, yeah, that's what that's what I have for you for this reading, for this uh, time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing the rest of June.